Hey everyone, welcome back to String Cheese and Applesauce, where today we're going to build this Lego City snowplow truck. This is set number 60083, 196 pieces, and looks like one minifigure. So let's go ahead and bust it open and get to it. Alright, so here we go with some more city action. This is the snowplow. It's using this favorite city colors of, of late, the orange and green. We had plenty of orange with the Arctic sets. Now we're going to continue it with the city sets. So here's what we got in the box. We have one instruction book. It's kind of folded up. That's kind of the way it was in the box. So it likes to retain that shape. Let's see if we can un unbend it a little bit. Good enough. There's our instruction book. Small, little dreaded sticker sheet. Stickers aren't too bad, I guess, on there. Our typical little warning stickers and looks like some metal details. We have a bag one, and we have a bag two. So let's go ahead and open up bag one. Get into this build. Little bag in the big bag. We have some big fat tires here. These tires. Yeah, while well, these wheels go on. Not bad. I always like to put the wheels on the tires first. Because we know that's where they're going to go. And it helps me to pile them off to the side by themselves. Because we know the wheels don't get put on till the end, so there they are. They're off to the side, ready for when we need them. Also, once I dump the contents out, we know the minifigures are one of the first things that's going to get built. So I pull the minifigure pieces out as well, kind of set them to the side. All right, there's the contents of the small bag. So here is what our minifigure looks like. He's got the dark blue pants, city worker jacket on. He's got a brown goatee. Safety goggles and a cool little baseball hat. And I will be doing a review of this set. We'll look at the minifigure and all of the details of the vehicle further in those. But right now we're here just to do a build, not to necessarily review it. I will be opinionated in another video. This video, we're just going to see how. This thing is put together. So here's a cool little Technic um, differential box here. Haven't seen one of these in a while. Let's see if we're going to use it. Yep, we are going to use it as a, a Technic piece. All right, so this is cool. This is why I do these things. So we have this little Technic bevel gear that we're gonna drop right inside. There's a slot here that you can drop these in. So that gear slides right in there. You can see it's sand colored. And then we're gonna slide an eight long Technic axle through there. And it goes through that gear. So you can see now when I turn the axle, the gear inside there turns as well. Now, for the bevel gears, see I have another one. You can put it right in this other little slot. So now there's two gears and they interlock with each other. And you can see when I turn the axle, the gears are turning. Put this sloped brick over there. That's actually going to hold both of them in there. 
So now when I turn this upside down, that, that second gear I put in will not fall out. And then back here, we have this tech neck brick that will put a little red too long axle in there. It connects to that other gear that's in there. So you can see I'm still turning just this one black axle. And now we've got some action going over here with that red piece turning. Now we'll put one more bevel gear on there. See how now it's turning. So I'm turning this and we're getting turning over there. Now, how does all that work with the snow plow? That's the question. What is this for? Okay, so now we're gonna build the front portion. Have a little, little tow ball receptor there. Another one of these little gear boxes. It looks like we're not going to put gears in this one. This one looks like it's just some, some non-friction pin axle combination. Green brick and then that attaches there. So from looking at this it looks like our wheels are going to attach to these axles and then the rolling of the vehicle is going to activate some sort of function back here. Sounds fun. Let's continue this. See what's going on. Getting our fenders on already. Bricks. Another green brick. More fenders. Modified brick with studs on the side. This modified 4x4 tile with four studs right there. Couple 1x4 plates. for the front. This is going to be our headlight bar. Some clear cheese slopes and a grill piece. slope pieces and a white tile and a slope. Now this is where stickers usually go on but I am not putting stickers on this set. At least not right now. I may later. Depends on if this is one of those sets that I'm going to keep assembled forever. So big six by six green plate on top. That's gonna hold everything together. Start detailing it out with some lights. We have these one by one trans orange plates. This big panel. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Where's the first one I saw these in? Yellow, I think. It's interesting because it's it's real thin, like a panel, but it has studs on the side. So you can assemble it like that and then attach things to the side. And 
what we're attaching on this one is some one by four tiles. We have two green doors that are operable. You can open them. Blue steering wheel. Blue brick. And three two by two sloped bricks in green color. Some plates to hold the door on. Plate across there. Our standard city issued coffee mug. And we have our dark kind of tinted window color windshield. Next is some modified plates with clips on the side. couple of modified plates with studs on the side there. Some one by one clear round tiles. Those are our light bar on the front here. Next is a couple rear view mirrors. So they're attached to those those plates, you see it attaches and you fold it down. That creates the illusion of a rear view mirror. We have one on each side. It's our rear view mirrors. And our roof element here is a tile three trans orange tiles on this plate and that connects all the way up to the top there. All right, so we have some smokestack pieces, one on each side. Now we have a little rear view, I'm sorry, a rear light bar. So you have your brake lights and your little warning lights. That connects all the way back here. Our four tires and wheels go on now. bushings goes on each side here this will help make sure the wheels don't fall off so you can see remember at the very beginning we, we had that little gearbox in there and that little axle I mean gear was turning so you can see now when we turn when we roll the vehicle that gear is still turning so we have a few more little pieces to, to make go on the side. See there's this old Technic plate with two pins and they go on the side into those Technic bricks that have the pin holes. 
And we have two little clips right there on the top where we will clip a shovel on one side and a broom on the other. So it's like the fuel tanks that act as places to hold the the tools. So there's quite a few extra pieces. There's actually eight extra pieces left over from bag one. But that is it for bag one. You see it made a kind of cute little, it's kind of short and squatty, or short and tall. A little top heavy looking. But remember, we still have this little action going on back here. I wonder what that's for. Let's go ahead and open up bag two. Let's see what we have in here. So right away, I see some newish pieces. These are like a little triangle shaped panels or plates with studs on the sides. Those are kind of interesting. And we have a little bag with the little pieces. Goes off to the side. And we start with this plate. And we start with these triangular pieces. So right now we're going ahead and sticking them on there with another plate over here. Turn it on its bottom side. I don't know what's the bottom or sides now. We've got bricks and plates going in all different directions now. We have these slopes that we're attaching down this one plate. This way, put some more slopes on there. So there's it's kind of creating this, uh, I guess, the hopper in the back for the back side of the truck. All right, so it's asking us to push this to the side for now. Bring this element over. Have some long tiles going down the sides. Some sloped bricks. And then this connects, I guess, like this. Yeah, so you can see there's a little gap right in there, but for the most part, those, those sloped bricks more or less closed it off. So it kind of creates this little bin. We bring our truck back over, and this bin attaches right to the back. Just like that. All right, so now we have a different element we're gonna make. So we push the truck to the side. Figure out what this is. There wasn't many pieces in bag number two. Seems like we used the bulk of them in the first bag, which is okay. Technic plate with a pinhole. Put a couple Technic pins and axles in there. This little flag for this, this tile with a clip on the side. And a gear. Uh oh, we have a gear. So that's going to connect to something. This connects here, and we connect this whole piece back there. Ah, I see what it is now. So this part, it goes back and goes forward, 
And what it is, it's a little salt spreader. So you can see when I turn the wheels, how that axle is turning the gears inside and then it's turning this little salt spreader thing. That's really cool. Did not expect that in this set. I thought it was just going to be a little snow plow. So that is a cool little surprise. Now we're building the snow plow piece. A lot of these modified plates with clips on them, that's probably what's going to hold most of the panels. So here's the panels. You can see they have these little bars on the ends and they're going to each clip onto one of these plates that have the clips on it. And we have four of these, I mean six of these. Nope, learn how to count. We have six. The plates with a bar on it. We flip it up like this. We put some plates with studs on the side. And then a long tile all the way across. And some clear round tiles. There's our little snow plow piece. Now we need to make a little connecting piece to connect it to the truck. Do it like this. Here, press that on there. A little plate with a ball on it. So that ball, um, and then this little archway to hold it all together. So that ball, remember from the first first bag, we had this little ball, little hook piece. So that will connect into there. You can see now it kind of moves up and down, side to side. Nice good movement, doesn't hit the wheels. And we have these white one by one round tiles that can either be snow, see how it pushes the snow. Instructions do say to drop them all in the, the hopper here. Doesn't even fill up the bottom. I'm not quite sure why we've got to put it in there, but either way, it's in there. And this orange color scheme goes really well with last year's city Arctic sub theme. So you can have a snow plow, although in the Arctic, you're going to be snow plowing pretty much everything because it's all snow. So there you go. We'll do a review of this set to kind of look at everything in further detail, but that is it for the snowplow truck. We did have one extra piece, just one of these round, one by one clear tiles. There you go. All right, so thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to give us a big thumbs up if you like what you saw. Make sure to subscribe. There's a link right down here. You can hit subscribe. Make sure you don't miss any other builds that we do. Make sure to comment. Tell us what you thought about this set. If there's any things you didn't like or you know loved about it, let us know. Love to hear it. Make sure to check out our other videos. And remember to check out the Ask Me Anything videos where you can ask me anything and I will answer your question. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.